Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. It's the 27th of, De of December right now. The year's about to end, so what better time to start a playthrough of my absolute game of the year 2021. Hickory, A Colourful Tale. This game is just magnificent. Uh, the game originally released uh, on Steam and on the PlayStation Store in June. Uh, this Switch version released uh, about two weeks ago. I have not played it yet, apart from just a little bit of experimentation, just to see how it works. Um, we're going to play through the Switch version, partly so I can see how good the Switch version is, and just partly because I find that pretty easy to record. And we're going to play it the whole game. We're going to try to 100% it, and we're going to just do everything and have a great time. <laughs> uh, first, the bad news. This game does not work with a mouse. Uh, I think that's just a problem with the Switch itself, like Nintendo just didn't give it the ability to work with mice. Uh, I had the same problem with Donut County here, which is another fantastic indie game that ideally I think should be played with a mouse, and you can't play the Switch version with a mouse. It just, it just, doesn't, it just doesn't work. Uh, the good news, uh, you can play, if your Switch is undocked, you can use the touch screen uh, to draw stuff on the screen, very nice, uh, using like a stylus or just your finger, but a stylus would probably do a better job. Uh, you can also use motion controls to draw on the screen, moving your Joy-Con around. So basically, it's got the same pointer controls as this game. Uh, so, that should be fine. The only problem is, of course, in this game, you basically never need to use the pointer controls. Um, like, they're a fun little bonus thing, and outside of some Captain Toad levels, it just, it's just not required. Never matters. Uh, whereas in Chicory, you really do need to be able to paint the screen very precisely all over the place for the whole game. It's more like this game, really. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. Um, I would love to play with the touchscreen, but you can't record a Switch game while you're undocked, because then there's no video output to be captured. So, we're going to be playing it with it in the dock. Once we get a bit into the game, I will show you uh, how the touchscreen works. I'll just use my webcam for that. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be playing with captured video, which means using these. Let's head on in. Uh, you get a bit more of a loading screen than you do on the Steam version. I'm not sure if this happens on the PS4 version, which I haven't played, but uh, you can see we get this nice little splash. Uh, with our draw dog having a little sit there. Uh, then we get to pair a controller. I think this is coming up because I also have Joy-Cons on the Switch, so it doesn't know which to use, but yeah, we're using these. Uh, this loading screen is also, I think, unique to this version. It's extremely charming. Uh, first you get these little splotches of paint everywhere, and then eventually... Have you considered... Might have... Problem. Uh, it shows a different message every time it loads, and they're all like uh, exploring different possibilities, and like they're supportive and positive messages about like real uh, about um mental illness and stuff like that, and it's great. Uh, so this version, it's wanting to calibrate my Joy-Con just so I can point it to the right spot on the screen. Not too complicated. You just press the X button to reset it to the middle whenever you want, it's not too hard. There we go. And now we get a title screen. Uh, we're going to go into the options first, I'm just going to talk about them for a little bit. Partly to show what's new on the Switch version, partly just to let you know which options I will be using in this playthrough. Uh, we're going to be playing in English, uh, because I can't read any other languages, not too complicated. Uh, the uh, touch and motion controls we set to right-handed. You can change that if you are left-handed. Unlike a certain other game that I played recently on this channel and was very frustrated by, which does not have this option. Uh, you can switch off motion control if you don't want to use it. You can adjust the sensitivity. Uh, some things in the game do require you to hold a button. If you toggle, switch it to this, then you just tap the button and it toggles. Which is really nice if you have uh, problems like holding down buttons with your hands, basically. Uh, we did that when I was playing the game with Natalie. She's got, like, dyspraxia going on. It was great. Uh, you can set, you can control the cursor using one of the analog sticks. You can pick which one. You can also switch which one will be used during play by clicking, clicking the left stick if you turn this on. 
This version of the game has HD rumble. Uh, basically, depending on what surface you're painting, uh, you get different rumble effects. So I'm going to see how that goes. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it to you because it's a rumble feature. And yeah, I, I, can't, I can't record that. <laughs> but uh, I will talk about it and let you know like whether I notice anything especially nice about it, I suppose. Uh, normal stuff, dead zones and cursor speed. You can remap all the buttons if you so desire. A lot of these are question marks because we haven't gone far enough into the game to know what they do yet. Uh, but as you can see, everything is remappable, so you have a lot of flexibility. Uh, which is good if you need to control things slightly differently. Uh, graphics, you've got the eye strain helper. I'm probably going to leave this one off. Uh, what that does is, if you turn it on, you get it makes the screen a bit orangier, basically. Uh, so I'm going to leave that on default. And if you do need it to be lots, like, you know, feel free to tint your screen lots. That's, that's completely fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn off flashing effects and screen shake. Uh, you can change the volume. You can turn off wet sounds, like splashy paint and stuff. This game is full of them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to turn that off. Let's try turning it off and see what happens, because I haven't before. Uh, you can change the text scroll speed, you can turn off fun little text animations and uh, use the same font everywhere instead of a few different fonts. Because I'm going to be reading out all the text in the game anyway, I'm not going to bother changing the font style. Uh, then we've got some uh, difficulty sorts of accessibility things. The player normally can take two hits. Uh, you can up that to three, you can up that to infinity, you can up that to you're literally invincible, you just don't take hits. You can also turn it down to one hit if you want things to be a bit harder. Uh, reaction speed, some things require you to do things with careful timing, you can slow that kind of stuff down if you want. You can make it, no, you can't make it faster, only slower. Content warnings. Uh, so, before a cutscene that happens to have something potentially triggering, uh, potentially sensitive content, uh, it will pop up a little message saying, hey, this content is here, if you want to skip the cutscene, do this. I will not be skipping any cutscenes, but I will have content warnings on, and I will put chapter markers in the in the videos that I upload so that you can skip them if you need to. Um, like, I, I completely want you to be safe, I want you to enjoy this, and if there's something that you are not comfortable seeing, you are completely welcome to skip over it. Uh, you can also skip boss fights, this is, this is more of a difficulty thing than uh, like a trigger and content kind of thing, but I'm gonna leave that off as well because I'm playing the game, I can handle the boss fights. Uh, I may put chapter markers on bosses as well, so you can skip them if you wish, but it's not really a big deal. Uh, then we have this just to reset the player's position in case they get stuck, which isn't likely. The game doesn't tend to soft lock you, but there's a way out if that happens. You can clear the settings, you can see the credits. Basic stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's our dealio. Uh, sure. I assume this is because I switched motion controls off momentarily, it needs to recalibrate them. There we go. Uh, so, starting the game. You can play in co-op. That means player 2 will just have their own paintbrush and can paint the screen in various spots. Uh, it is, again, quite similar to a certain other game. <laughs> uh, but this is really good if, for example, Player 1 is my girlfriend with dyspraxia who has trouble doing things precisely on the screen. I can play as Player 2 and help her out. We did this. It was really good. <laughs> We're going to begin normally. What's your favourite food? Okay, there's a couple of things I want to demonstrate on this screen before we proceed. Firstly, you go to I'm not sure. It'll say pizza, noodles, pancake, taco, peanut cocoa back to pizza uh the set of suggested suggested foods is different for each of the game's languages but pizza is always the first one and for that reason our the draw dogs like popular name in fan art and stuff like defaults to pizza so like people do call the character pizza outside of particular versions of the character which makes sense uh as a coincidence i also named my draw dog pizza on my first playthrough Without picking this button, I just, it, it's just, it just happened. So, that was a bit silly. <laughs> it's not a big deal, though. Uh, here, we can just type in anything we want. Uh, you'll notice it says, it says 500 character limit there. I don't know if it will actually stop you from typing way more than that, but I, I guess we could find out. 
Uh, I'm gonna put in the name Chicory, because, well, this game is Chicory, right? Turns out if you put in the name Chicory specifically, you get, okay, what's your second favourite food? You cannot name yourself Chicory. Uh, it's just the most important character in the game apart from the player is named Chicory, and it would just be too confusing. Uh, so if you keep putting in Chicory over and over, which I've tried, it will go to what's your 8th, ninth, 10th favourite food, and then it will say what's your next favourite food. It's very cute. Uh, we are actually going to name ourselves... Uh... Tangerine. Uh, if you're familiar with the game and some of its other characters, you may know where this name has come from, but if not, that's fine. You'll see. <laughs> the magic paintbrush. Every stroke fills our world with colour. Naturally, someone has to wield it. The brush has been passed down through the ages. But the current wielder, Hickory? She's so cool! A total genius! The world's never looked better thanks to her. And that's why it's up to me. Keep her tower clean. The music in this game is delightful. Um, so yeah, we have our pointer here. Uh, we can just hold ZR to just start cleaning. colors. Must have cleaned too hard. I've got to go tell her right away. Wield a tower. God, didn't they call her here earlier? Oh yeah, this portrait. It's Almond, the classic wielder. One of the first to really show her personality and her coloring. After her, wielder's styles became much more diverse. Have to respect our legacy. Hmm, this one. I think this one is Carrot? It was okay. Really experimental. Even at that time, I don't think he was very popular. I don't know, he has some fans still. Oh, this one's Parfait! He was colourful and heroic, just like Chicory! If she were here, she'd probably say, Don't worry, Tangerine. It's fine that all the colours just vanish for no reason. I should probably stop procrastinating. Hickory needs to know what's going on. We can't look at any more of these. Uh, just the first couple. But we have to keep going. Chicory! Sure she's here. But it's locked. Ah, oh, everyone must be panicking. And she left her brush just lying there. What should I do? What if I use the brush? Just like she would. I'm sure she'd appreciate the help. Maybe at least for a bit. No way, that sounds dangerous. Then again... Mm, no. Mm, mm, no, I don't think so. The end. That was Chicory, A Colourful Tale, my favourite game of the year. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>
This is not the real ending. This is a fake out. Uh, I'm going to interrupt it before it goes too far because it does spoil some stuff uh, about the plot later on. Not really the plot, but it spoils some of the like, stuff in the game, seeing all the credits, because these are the full credits. Uh, we're just going to save and quit the title. And then we're going to continue. <laughs> So yeah, if you say no to taking the brush three times, the game ends. I think that's the only non-standard game over? I could be wrong, though. Take it! You got the brush! So yeah, we now have the brush. You can see I can move my little cursor around the screen and paint stuff. You can change colours. Uh, I have four different colors to work with. Uh, I will always have four different colors to work with. That's the standard way the game works. Still locked. Hope she's okay. Good thing she has me to help. Trickery would never let me touch the brush. But left it sitting here. I might just leave it, right? I'll just have to do my best. And I can give it back to her. No big deal. I hope. Okay, um, so we can't talk to Chikori just yet. We're gonna go outside. Chapter 1. The Dark Forest. Luncheon. Uh, you can see the text of the word luncheon was in four different colours. Those are the four colours we're allowed to use in Luncheon. Each area of the game has a separate four colour palette. Uh, there is a way to get four more colours eventually, but for the most part you'll be working with those four colours. Picked up some litter! <laughs> Also, yes, this game's music is delightful. Uh, probably be quiet fairly often so you can hear it. Upper wood this way. Oh, that's where Blackberry lives. The wielder before Chicory. Living legend. Maybe she knows what's going on? I should check on the townspeople, too. Uh, now that we're in the game proper, and we have the brush, I'm just gonna grab my switch from over here, and demonstrate to you how the touchscreen controls work momentarily. Uh, we'll need a bigger webcam than that. There we go. Uh, okay, so... As you can see, the same game. Same basic control set. It's designed so you can play it with one hand, so uh, you use your other hand to, you know, draw stuff. Uh, if you press one shoulder button, you can change colours with the L button here. I believe it's for left-handed people, it's the same, just flipped around. And the R button lets you change brush sizes, so you can use a big brush or a little brush. And if you press both of them at once, that's how you erase stuff. It's very straightforward. Um, I would consider this the better way to play the game on a Switch, just because the touchscreen is so direct, and it's very tactile, and you can draw whatever you want pretty easily. There's a little smiley in the sky, there you go. Super easy to use, and yeah, you're just not going to have any trouble doing it this way. It's just super straightforward. Uh, and you know, you can be comfy and play it like this, and you can play it anywhere as well, because it's a portable system. Uh, so definitely the better way to play the game if you're not recording it, which I am. Put it back on the dock. Uh, and let's go back to seeing the dock, the game, directly, instead of seeing my face. Danny, Danny, that's your face. <laughs> there we go. I don't want to do this again, just momentarily. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's have a bit of a look around and play the game a bit. <laughs> Tangerine's house? That's where I live. It's my house! I huh. guess it's fairly... fast. Keeping the tower clean has always been priority one. There we go, they look lovely. How do you do, Tangerine? Chica, we gave you the brush! You developed your style yet? There are so many ways to color. I know what mine would be. I'd use L, make my brush huge, and color everything super fast. That's definitely the best style. Hmm. I think I'd use L to make my brush smaller, and, R and click the R stick to zoom in. So I can take my time adding small details. No, that's wrong. That's a horrible style. <laughs> You know what's really fun? Hold the drawer or erase button and keep your brush still. It fills things up super fast. I love it. Depending on how you like to draw, you might want to adjust some of your gameplay options. You can press minus to access the options menu. There you can adjust your cursor speed, make it so you have to hold down the paint button. We didn't know the brush was passing on. Yeah, we didn't think it would be to you. Aren't you just like, a janitor? Very rude, P. Chico always took her job seriously, so it is a bit unusual for her to... Oh yeah, by the way, you can move everyone's text boxes around like this, if you wanted them in a certain spot on the screen. For example, I might do that if something comes up in this corner and, you know, I can't see it because my face is in the way. If I brush to a total amateur... You've got the brush, not us, so you can decide how to paint. Just remember, L can make your brush smaller. Or bigger! I remember sometimes it's nice to take your time. But going fast is always better! Cuties. <laughs> Ooh, here's some more garbage. Hello, what's happening here? <gasps> a kitty! Lost kid. You found a lost kid. You can see I'm having a little trouble precisely painting things. Uh, yeah, I don't think the motion controls are the best way. <laughs> hello, hello, Tangerine. I may end up just switching to use the right stick instead, honestly. We'll see how we go. Now for a small gardening tip. Some flowers grow when in colour, but others grow only when blank. If you wish to erase a coloured one, you can use R plus ZR or ZL. Wielding the brush must be overwhelming. If you're not sure what to do, I would talk to Blackberry, the old wielder. He lives in the supper woods to the southeast. Old folks like us are always full of advice. <laughs> the way to the Nibble Tunnel is through my little garden. Thanks to potluck and dinners. Folks are often coming and going through here. I hope my flowers make the trip a little nicer. So the deal with these flowers, you can see uh, they're like walls, but if you paint them, you can walk, we can walk right through because they're no longer like walls. So, yeah, you can just fiddle with the obstacles and make your way around. A gift? You got pocket jacket. Yeah, wear that. There we go. Uh, there are a lot of clothing pieces in this game. There's over a hundred of them. We're probably going to get all of them. We're going to at least try to get all of them. We'll see how we do. I don't think there's any reason to come down here. Hmm. Hey, Macaroon. Oi! My house ain't got colours no more. Fix it! Give me some tough colours. You got it? Tough colours only. And if you didn't already know, you can change colour with R. Ah. Chop chop. 
Okay, let me see. First, we'll give you some tough colors. Uh, that looks pretty tough. Uh, and there we go, that looks tough. Okay, now, some for your house. I reckon purple's a pretty tough color. Boy, those colors, they're so tough. I love them. You really did a bang up job. I gotta thank you. You got a broom cap. You know where that? Yeah. Hope you love that hat. As much as I love these tough colors. Thanks again. Really perfect. If anyone comes wondering who's a tough guy, one look at my house and they'll know it's me. Couldn't ask for more. Thanks. I, re I really like Macaroon. He's a fun character. <laughs> uh. Loves his tough colors. Hey, Pumper Nickel. Chicory thought you were worthy of the brush. Hmm? The world is simply aren't as good as they used to be. I miss the days of Blackberry. Hey! Chicory is an amazing wielder. Well, if you like that sort of thing. Blackberry lives to the southeast in the supper woods. You should go and meet her. Normal for colours to fade out over time. I've never heard of them vanishing like this. I've never seen the Wielder's Tower blink before. But it's to be expected. You leave the brush in the hands of a novice like Chicory. Blackberry would know what to do. Yeah, Pumpernickel's a bit rude. Macaroon's so cool, though. He likes tough co- Oh, it's time! Oh, look look at time! Oh, a baby! Yeah, I'll give you some nice colours, baby. There we go. That looks great. There we go. Hey, time. You know about drawing with other people? You pause with minus and select begin toe up. Someone else can play with you as an extra brush. Drawing together can be nice. I know it always helps me relax. Sometimes my day's going just fine. And then something tiny sends me into a spiral. This isn't one of those times, though. This time it was the entire world suddenly going black and white. Everything's giving me a weird feeling. I'm catching a ride to see someone in Brecky. Things always feel better with friends. We will be going to Brecky, but not for a while. We cannot catch a ride the way that time is going to just yet, unfortunately. Oh, wait just a second! <gasps> Sorry, running a bit late today. Dude, I even forgot to get dressed. Better press plus to change clothes. Much better. Okay, come on in. We can press plus and change our clothes as well, if we so wish. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to go to options and... Dial down the motion sensitivity a bit. Because I'm having a lot of trouble with the default sensitivity. Let's see if this goes a little bit better. Well, hey there, Tangerine. What's new with the tower? I see Chicory lent you the brush. You know, this is great timing. I was just thinking our shirt design was stale. Ready to draw us a new shirt? Yeah. Great. Everyone will be excited a new wielder did it. Just do whatever you want. Design a t-shirt. Yeah, we can just draw anything, basically. And we can, can come back and change this later, so if we don't love what we do, that's not a problem. Oh, that's horrible, actually. Uh, you don't get to choose the colours here because the shirt gets painted different colours as you play. Like the shirts we've already been finding. You're just doing like the outline, basically. Uh, just to be clear, that's what's happening. Uh, let's make a smiley shirt. There we go. Uh, done. Wow, it looks great! Can't let you leave without taking one. You got custom tea. Where now? There we go, look at that. 
yeah, you can draw whatever you want there. If you talk to Cola again, you can change it. It's great. Uh, we are at a half hour, so I am going to stop the video for now. Next time, we'll probably talk to Oats and Zakimi and some other people in Bunchen. And we'll also actually, you know, go towards uh, Supper Woods and find Blackberry and continue the actual story. There's just a lot of people to talk to, because this game is very rich. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for now. So yeah, next time we will proceed with the actual game a bit more and have a bit less just sort of intro stuff. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>